Hi everyone, it's me, Tim. Today I want to talk a little more about Carbine, because that video generated a lot of comments. Um, I'm not going to answer all the questions, but I do want to go over a lot of the topics that came up. Also, I don't have another Carbine shirt, so we're back to Fallout. First of all, I want to talk about the fact that I tried in that video to stick as closely as I could to events. Like things that happened, that I documented that happened. Um, I like to stick to events because people have wildly different interpretations of even events. You know, the same thing can happen and everybody interprets the causes of it and who's to blame and whatever differently. I mean, can you imagine what it'd be like if I talked about so-and-so being angry or whatever their internal mental or emotional states were? I mean, it would just, the interpretation of that that's my interpretation of it, and then your interpretation of my interpretation. So I try to just stick to, on these dates, this person did something, said something, emailed something. Something I wrote down. But there's another reason I don't like to talk about why people did things. Um, and that's because, one, I'm not good at it. I have no idea, half the time, why people are doing the things they do. It seems, a lot of things they do seem counter to their own like productivity or the the how good the game is going to be or even you know them being happy i i really don't understand sometimes why people do what they do but the other reason i don't like doing it is a lot of people lie about why they're doing things and not just to other people a lot of people lie to themselves while they're doing something you know you see this a lot of people go well look i'm just being honest no you're you're really being mean or they think that they're doing something because they're, you know, this is the, this is important for the game. And it's like, no, the game would be fine without this. You just want it. And it's fine to say you want something, but it's weird to say, this is, you know, this is the only way we're going to support this design pillar of the game is this one design of mine. So that's why I'm pushing it beyond everyone else's designs. So and sometimes they even believe that. So I just try not to, say why people do what they do. And then I know at least one person who worked at Carbine who commented on my video talked about all the secrecy that was there. And and while I agree, and as a director, I you know was at a lot of meetings they weren't privy to, but I saw a lot of other meetings happen that I wasn't in. All I can tell you is, first of all, I was literally not allowed to just go talk to artists. I mean, this is something that you know, the art director said in a director meeting and the studio had backed him up. I wasn't allowed to go down and talk to artists. The artist who came um, to show me Double Jump, who, by the way, wasn't, he didn't say he made it. He just said, I want you to see this and tell me what you think of it. I think he might have gotten in trouble after that. I mean, I wasn't supposed to go down and talk to artists, but I, I remember thinking, well, if they come to me, that's fair game. I know, too, that um, people would say all kinds of things like Tim hates artists or Tim won't put art ideas in. And those weren't true. But no one ever came to me and asked me that. They just heard it and then assumed that it was true, even when I would prove them wrong repeatedly. And again, because of that rule I just mentioned, it wasn't like I could go down the hall and go, hey, everyone, I just want to talk to all of you artists real quick that I like your ideas and here's a bunch of them that have already gone in. I'm hoping to put more in. That just couldn't happen. Um, so then um, I know some people have commented who started at Carbine late. And all I can tell you is that anyone who saw me there um, for the last probably eight months, I know for the last six months I was taking notes almost every single day. I know I was a lot quieter when I was at work. Um, I didn't resist anything. So programming said they wanted something. I'm like, okay. Uh, art made more and more changes during that time. And I basically just accommodated them. Um, as I told someone, I wasn't being a director. I was just being a coordinator. Um, I could see that anyone who was hired at the end of 2010 or any time in 2011 would have seen a very different impression of me, would have gotten a very different impression of me. I was very quiet. I was very uninvolved. I was easily swayed to anything that people wanted to put in the game. 
And this was even happening in the director meetings. Um, the only time I ever spoke up was if anybody said something that was like not factually correct. Like if they said, oh, this ability is on this character or we have so many months to do this. I remember somebody once said, oh, we have three months to do this. And um, I just said, no, according to the schedule, there's only two months. And they go, okay, okay, I don't want to argue. I, I still remember the um, public relations guy, the PR guy said, no one's arguing. I'm just pointing out the schedule when he has two months in it. Um, so you could tell people were like primed for me to argue. And I just had stopped doing it. And at first people thought I was being passive aggressive. But when no pushback ever occurred, they realized I was just being passive. Some people love that. Some people, <laughs> when they figured it out, for example, Eric DeMilt, the producer, and I worked with him before and after. In fact, I've worked with a lot of people from Carbine since then. Um, Eric was really happy that all of the arguments stopped. And he congratulated me at one point. I think it was late 2010 or maybe right after we got from, back from Christmas break. He said that he, he liked, he congratulated me for being so amenable to all these changes. But then stuff started going in that he didn't like. And some of them he knew I didn't like. He, he knew me. He's like, I know you from past games. You do not like these design changes, but I did nothing about it. That's when he said, wow, you've really lost your passion for this game. And he even suggested I leave. He, um, at least two weeks before I turned in my notice, we had a talk and he said, have you considered just leaving? I mean, if, you don't, if you're not into this anymore, why are you here? And I even said, well, who's going to get all this stuff done? A lot of the changes people are suggesting, they need someone to estimate how long they're going to take, who's going to work on them. A lot of them are based on things I've done in other games or similar to things I've done in other games. And you, I thought they needed somebody with experience at least to do that. Um, yeah. And after the fun QA incident, I did resign. And he even told me, yeah, that's probably for the best. So I know having read the comments that there are some people who worked there who saw similar things happening to them or to the group they were in and they were scared to bring it up. Even some now, some people now are still scared to bring it up. Um, I'm not going to tell your stories. I just want to say that your stories are yours to tell. I especially don't like talking about things I wasn't involved in or that I didn't witness happening. But if you saw some things happening, you should certainly talk about it. Um, and I hope that me telling these stories help you come forward and talk about them or at least feel better about your time there. I mean, like I said, some of the most talented people I ever worked with were at Carbine. It was just unfortunate, I think, that a lot of their talents weren't used to their fullest because stuff just got lost or redone so many times. And while I think the, the game that shipped was really good, I can only imagine what it would have been if everybody had been going in the same direction for years before that game had shipped. There was just so much potential at Carbine. And I'm not sure that potential was fully realized, but I still think Wildstar was a really good MMO. And I know a lot of people liked it. And I'm glad they liked it. And the same thing I said about Fallout 2 applies here. If you liked it, like it. Enjoy it. it like what you like. Um, you don't have to be put off by any perceived turmoil behind the scenes. Because let me just tell you, every game has turmoil going on behind the scenes. Some just a little, some an awful lot. But I think you should really just enjoy the game for what it is. So, Anyway, that's probably the last I'll talk about this for a while. I think, I think that's enough about Carbine.